we have some big news. What is going on everybody? How are y'all doing? We have some big breaking news. This could be huge. But before we go on, I am going to be giving away a console in October. Either the Switch OLED, Xbox Series S, or a PlayStation 4, 5 all digital console. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and following me on Twitter. Let's get to the news. Bro, Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 5 just has been leaked. All right, this is coming from PSU.com. <coughs> um, Marvel Spider-Man 2 as po was possibly teased by Miles Morales motion mocap actor. All right, Cybet Games has not officially announced Spider-Man 2 yet, but... The motion capture actor who plays Miles Morales in the video game has teased that it might be in the works. Um, actor Naji Jeter quickly pulled the image off his Instagram page, which suggests he may have let the cat out of the bag too early. I actually saw the picture. Uh, it's still on the internet. Let's put something on the internet. It's there, bro. And so he posted himself being motion capped. But I don't think he was supposed to. The picture was pulled, but it's too late. We Spider-Man 2. I wonder if the game. Now, they're still motion capping and stuff, so we don't know when it's going to come out. But Spider-Man 2 for the, and you know it's going to be on the PS5. Um, I'm wondering if this is going to be a PS5 exclusive. Why do I say that? Insomniac Games' last game, Ratchet & Clank, could only be done on the PS5 with the SSD. And you could tell because graphically, it was beautiful. Bro, you know how Ratchet & Clank has, um, had, like, you were warping through different dimensions? Multiverse, bro. Spider-Man multiverse. Just imagine, you're swinging at Spider-Man and you instantly warp into another multiverse quickly. Bro, that would be amazing, bro. I just watched the last episode of Loki. Boom, mind blown. Whew, multiverse is real, bro. All right, so um, the new Spider-Man 2 coming to the PS5, leaked by Miles Morales himself. Let's go get it. Next news item. If you're looking for a PlayStation console, PlayStation 5 console, Sony has you covered. Um. PS5 will be getting hardware restocks. Hardware restocks um, coming tomorrow, uh, July 16th, Friday, July 16th. PS5 restocks will be on Sony Direct's website. So if you're looking to still get a PlayStation 5, go to PlayStation Direct and cop you of PS5. Uh, the drop will occur Friday, July 16th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, Sony has, in the past, Sony has offered PS5 consoles to the general public upon finishing its invite-only affair. So if you didn't get an invite, they still will have some available to the general public. So, um, PlayStation Direct, if you want to get a PS5, there you go. Last news item, bro. This sounds pretty dope. A new patent was discovered. And the PS5 could be getting a, a um, some kind of online tournament system. An online tournament system could be coming to the PS5. This is coming from TakeRadar.com. I think this is pretty dope, bro. 
A Sony patent has revealed the company could be working on an official online tournament system for the PlayStation 5. The system would allow players and developers alike to host gaming tournaments directly on your PS5. That's so dope. With the sponsors, I game with the sponsors almost every night on my gaming channel and the ability to set up tournaments directly on your PS5 would be dope. All right, this is what the patent says. The online system will make use of a PlayStation network to generate tournament brackets outside of the game you're playing. This means that multiplayer games won't need to have a dedicated tournament mode, instead relying on the built-in PlayStation Network system to create one for the game. The really clever part is how the PS5 online system plans to work. After the brackets have been generated and the players are present and accounted for, the system will update the bracket by tracking in-game wins and losses on its own. Bro, that's crazy! It will then schedule the next matches in the tournaments accordingly. Bro, this is some crazy stuff, bro. I'm telling you, man, Sony is just so far ahead of everyone right now, man. <sighs> hey, my 3D dot game heroes. I just realized, bro, the timing could have been worse. It's coming in the mail, either tomorrow or Saturday. Skyward Sword comes tomorrow. But, you know how long I've been waiting to play 3D Dot Heroes on my PS3? I just bought it the PS3 console. Skyward Sword might have to take the back burner, man. I'm playing this 3D Dot Game Heroes, bro. I gotta figure out how to capture it through my PS3 because it has that HDCP um, blockage stuff. But we got it. I got a splitter. I'll work around it. But, all right, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Some crazy stuff. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy.